Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Invin and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is a video on the best, most fine-tuned settings that you can use in the world. So the game has been out for just shy of a month now, almost coming up to a month's time. And what I thought I would do is give you guys a rundown on the settings. I've been using some nifty little things in the settings that you might not have noticed that I've found out along the way. It's going to be quite a quick little informative video just so you guys can get on top of your gameplay as soon as possible. Now, one thing that's not necessarily like a setting but it is a thing that really does help out i've seen a lot of people ask about is how to get the gear score on the items in your inventory well up in the top right of the inventory just underneath where the weight bar is you can see my mouse wiggling around here on the encumbrance bar just underneath this you can see sort by time so the most recently picked up items will be at the furthest left top left of each of your boxes you can also sort these by weight, so this will give a weight indicator. So if you do want a kind of a lowdown of what is weighing you down the most, what's making you the biggest fatty on the server, you can see this tanning's not helping me out. Scroll down here, these bullets aren't helping me out, that kind of thing. Kind of weigh up your options there, pardon the pun. Then we move to gear score, if you do want to look at that, and that is where you're going to be able to see the gear score of the items that are currently in your inventory. Now, it doesn't show the stuff you have equipped, but obviously anything you do unequip, it will then tell you the gear score there, so it says... You know, 570 next to that one, 500 next to the chef's hat, 550 miners pants, etc, etc. And this is a really clear cut way so that when you pick something up, you can see if it's going to be a good gear score. And then obviously look at it, whether it's worth the stats. Obviously, if it's massively lower than your currently equipped gear score, even if it's got good stats, might not be worth it, but it might be as well. So it's kind of up to you how you want to play this. But I think that's a lot of questions I've seen about how to get the gear score on the items. You just press gear score high to low. Now, this doesn't seem to toggle low to high or anything like that but um, you can have it high to low so you always get the top left being the best item or the highest gear score item that you have in each thing so like apparel utilities etc etc now you can also sort this by tier but again that then gets rid of the numerical values i just figured a lot of people have seen this in a lot of youtubers and streamers things and i've been seeing tons of comments about it so i thought i'd start off the video with that for you guys right there so moving fully into the settings part of the video here then well first of all you've got keybinds and one really important thing here if you are bothered about swapping weapons a little bit quicker you know you wanted to maybe get those rotations off and um, it's actually going to be setting a swap active weapons button i I currently don't have one set because I've been trying it without it and with it on and I have to say with it on it is a little bit faster than pressing the numbers one and two now for most players this is going to be kind of unnoticeable it's kind of very negligible amounts but if you are kind of one of those sweaty hardcore pvp type players or you just wanted to get your weapon cycles as quick as possible then absolutely swap active weapons can be quick now this is really good if you're using things like the boat or the musket where after a dodge you are then able to gain haste for a short amount of time this can be really really good for that and can help you do this a lot quicker now moving on to the preferences here as you guys can see these are literally what it says on the tin one thing you can do obviously is set a bad words from the chat filter on so if people are swearing and such when you're recording i usually turn this one on and then when i'm not recording i'll turn it off because it doesn't phase me too much personally but obviously for recording purposes it helps a little bit to have that on now you can also set your bandwidth modes which basically will increase the quality of the game so you can set that and it will prioritize your game over anything else that you've got open on the bandwidth usage so anything open on the internet over browsers things like that i generally keep mine on medium but again when i'm not recording you can pop this up to high if you do want to it's kind of personal preference but again it's another option that's there as kind of a quality of life type thing should you want it moving into the gameplay there's a few things here i always turn enable camera shake off this is just going to basically help you to hit shots more accurately with ranged weapons so muskets and bows it's going to be very useful because when you get hit by something your camera doesn't shake all over the shop so you should actually be able to hit a few more shots nice and accurately it's entirely up to you though you can you know put it on if you want that effect personally not for me another thing that i like to have on here is always your reticle this allows you to be a lot more accurate even with your melee weapons you can see where it's directly going to go towards and hit but especially with those ranged weapons this is almost a must have and it's just generally helpful to see where the middle of your screen is where the crosshair is so you know what's going on i would always have this uh, even when your weapon is saved just because it's it's kind of nice to get used to so personally i like that one on again personal preference as are most of these settings couple of other things that are really really important here on the gameplay tab is actually going to be to do with the hood and it's actually going to be always show your weapons that will mean that whenever you are in the game you can see in the bottom right here i've got both my weapons always on screen regardless of which weapon i actually have in my hand this is very very 
vital for when you are actually looking at cooldowns and of course will allow you to be able to time those cooldowns a lot lot better and on top of this you've got show extra ability cooldown and this adds another HUD display element near the center of the screen showing abilities cooldowns in a radial format so you'll see if I use my R for example my charge you'll see right in the middle of my screen there you can see that it's telling me how long that has got left on it and that does go away if you do change weapon but then when you change back to it it brings up the right weapons cooldown so it's a very useful thing you can have just in the middle of your screen so if you are fighting somebody you can kind of glance down you're fighting you're fighting and then suddenly it comes back up you proc it boom and as simple as that so it really really does help now kind of uh, another massively personal preference based one but one that's very very important to look at is targeted healing personally I like this off because you are just able to kind of maneuver things around a little bit easier but if you turn this on it will target the nearest active player and then you can kind of use the scroll wheel to go up and down your party to be able to heal those guys better you can also kind of flick it around a little bit and you will be able to transfer particularly things like sacred grounds even to people that aren't in your party generally I have found it easier with it off but bear in mind I am not a main healer so for those guys that are they may disagree with me and say that you want it on it's entirely up to you try it both ways but just so you know that that option is there to stop it snapping onto targets or to enable it snapping to targets if you've currently got it off it may be worth checking out for you now, if you are running around a lot using the auto run and you're getting a lot of things jumping over things, kind of moving around a lot freely, auto traverse, I personally like this more off because it means that you don't just randomly start jumping over obstacles, okay? Kind of sliding around the place. It's a bit of a mess, in my opinion, when you've got that on. If you go AFK for two seconds, you're looking at a second screen, you know, maybe replying to YouTube comments or something, and you're continuously running and you're jumping over things, you end up somewhere where you really, really didn't want to be because you thought your character would get stuck, you'd have to adjust it, whatever the case may be. Personally, I've just found this to be more useful off but again you can do it vice versa you can turn it on if you would like that sort of thing or turn it off if you've currently got it on and it's annoying you the next thing here that you're going to want to look at is mainly your fps counter you are going to want to put a max fps on i currently have the capacity for 144 hertz on the monitor but if i do this uncapped and put v-sync on it kind of works personally for me i found 60 fps to be more than enough even in wars it generally stays as you guys can probably see in the top right just about it does actually say 72 for some reason no idea why that is but it says 72 fps and it never really drops down below that even in towns even in wars bear in mind i do have a good spec pc but for me 60 fps has been absolutely fine it means my pc is not overheating and it runs the game exceptionally well again i'm on low settings when i record but generally other than that i'm playing on full high settings so it really doesn't matter there again just whatever your pc specs can handle um and another thing i like to have on like i said there is just the show fps just so you can see kind of what's going on it's in the top right corner and um, but it's entirely up to you guys what you want to have one thing that is really important to point out on this screen as well is the player nameplate amount. This can be really, really good because in wars, high amounts of nameplates can severely affect the frame rate. If you've got this higher than 15 and you go into a war, you're going to see a bit of difference. So maybe turn this down. Uh, again, equally, if you've got a really good PC and you want to see more of those, you know, by all means, you can turn this up. But do bear in mind that it will impact the performance quite a lot by having more of these available. A couple of things here on the communications tab that you might want to have a quick look at is enable chat alerts. So it shows alerts when the chat is closed. Close the chat after sending a message. I like this one. Also, you can put on the message time if you do want to do that. Some people in guilds particularly like to do it so they can see how old a request is or whatever. Um, personally, I don't really use that, so I've turned it off. But you can have that option within the game to do. And, of course, you can change the options for colour messages should you want it social is going to be just literally hiding the social notification banner so if you are just doing a sweaty grind on some mining or something really solo style gameplay you can actually turn these things off so you can't get friend invites group invites etc etc so it's entirely up to you and any streamers content creators out there that is going to be a good one to turn on when you are recording or indeed live streaming as well it's entirely up to you if you do want to do it but the option is there for every player and finally just on the in terms of accessibility there is a few things here that you can tweak uh colorblind filters text size text to speech etc which you can all have a mess around with should you feel the need you want to or it helps you out in any way at all now that's going to be it for this quick video just wanted to go over some of my favorite settings some of the most stick out things you guys should be looking at when you do launch up the game and maybe you've been playing for a while there's some things that you wanted to see particularly in the first part about the gear score i've been wondering that up until a couple of weeks ago and i've seen tons of comments asking about it so i thought i would bring you guys a video just kind of covering that along with some of the more useful settings from the actual settings panel as well if you guys have enjoyed today's video please do be sure to leave a like on it down below as it really really does help me out if you are new here to the channel then make sure you drop a subscribe with the notification bell on down below as i do upload every single day so i'd love you to be part of that community here with me on the channel other than that guys as always thank you very much for watching take care and peace